This is the BYD seal and we're here today at St Abs in Scotland as this is one of the best places to see a real life seal. We may not spot any out here today but we've got plenty of seal here to look at. Mock the cutesy name all you like but this is a very serious car with 354 miles of range, price tag of just over 45k and a spec list longer the length of this pier. I can see why it's been branded the Tesla killer. Is the Tesla now the small fish in the big pond? Let's find out why. I'm Greg from Peoples and this is Power Up. Build Your Dreams is a massive company from China. Shortened to BYD, who I'm sure you've heard of by now, are a Chinese company founded in 1995 starting out life as a battery manufacturer. Fast forward to today and they are now one of the largest manufacturers of EVs in the world, selling over 3 million vehicles last year and even outselling Tesla worldwide in the last quarter of 2023. This is the third car to the market in the UK after the Dolphin and the Apple 3. The SEAL, however, ups BYD's game with rear wheel drive, a big battery, a handsome aerodynamic body and big power. The SEAL is a chic, modern looking car and I'm not the only one who thinks that. It actually won the coveted IF Design Award at the tail end of 2023. BYD have kept the options very simple. There's only two variants, the design and the excellence, and there's visually no difference between the two. There's four colours to choose from as standard, this being the Atlantis Grey, and there's a couple of colours that come at an extra cost. Up front, there's definitely a bit of Porsche Taycan here. There's a really nice low sweeping front end, got these stunning sharp LED headlights with a sweeping C design and I'm also a huge fan of the DRLs that run in the lower section of the bumper, it kind of adds to that aquatic design and is said to mimic the waves of the ocean. The side profile of this saloon I think is nicer than the Tesla Model 3 or the Hyundai Ioniq 6 which can be seen as direct competitors to the SEAL. I think BYD have actually got this proportionally spot on. Again, you'll notice the low profile of this car and that's all to do with the battery technology which we'll come back to. Wheels only come in this design and size which are 19 inch and there's also some lovely fin details on the front wing and the lower side skirts. Again, playing on that aquatic design. I'm also a huge fan of these pop out door handles. The back end is pretty sleek and notably badgeless. All we've got is a simple BYD seal emblem down here. There's a full light bar right across the back end with the dot matrix design which looks fantastic at night. I'm also a huge fan of the sporty rear diffuser. So the boot opens either by key or this little button down here. It is electrically assisted as standard which is fantastic. In here we've got 400 litres of boot space so pretty decent for a saloon. There's also a three tier storage system in here which is pretty cool. When you lift the first floor you've got space in here for your charging cables and stuff and below that there's another space for tools. Up front under the bonnet there's also an additional 53 litres in this nicely branded up frunk. Inside is where you really start to appreciate how much you get with the seal as standard. The interior has some really nice architecture in here without being too much in your face. The build quality is fantastic. Everything feels really solid and it's much better build quality in here than a Tesla Model 3. In terms of finishes in here, it's a pretty eclectic mix. We've got some Alcantara on the dash and in the door cards. Everywhere else though is pretty much leather. Top of the dash, on the top of the doors and on this lovely huge padded armrest. And even the center console plastics feel pretty decent to the touch. There are only two trim options available in the BYD seal. You get it in a light blue colour or like this black that we have here today which would be my preferred option. The leather sport seats are fantastic. They're both heated and cooled. Finished in this lovely perforated leather with some contrasts and stitch. They are unbelievably comfortable. The driving position is also fantastic. You can get the seat nice and low as you'd sort of expect in a saloon and they're also electrically operated so you can get them perfect. There is this huge 15.6 infotainment touchscreen here which comes as standard. 
This thing is huge and is really high quality, which is to be expected from BYD because they actually make half the iPads in the world and a fifth of the smartphone batteries worldwide, which is crazy. So this feels more like an iPad rather than that clunky infotainment system you tend to find in a lot of vehicles. It also has this party trick up its sleeve. How cool is that? This means you have the option to either view the screen portrait or landscape, whichever you prefer. It features Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as expected. It is worth pointing out though that Apple CarPlay will only work with the screen in landscape mode. This is my preferred viewing option and it really does feel like an iPad. It mirrors your phone identically onto the screen. You don't even really need to connect your phone up if you don't want to, as you can directly log into Spotify here for your music and the built-in navigation is fantastic. As expected, most of the controls are within this screen, like most new modern cars, such as climate control and driver settings. However, this thing is huge, so it's pretty easy to navigate whilst driving. There is also fantastic driver assist cameras in this seal, which come as standard. There's this awesome 3D view, which is incredibly high res, and you get this brilliant guided reversion feature with the lines showing you how to get into the space, which is really helpful. In front of us, we also have the added benefit of this 10 inch digital cluster. This has everything on it you'd expect to see, and unlike the Tesla, you don't have to look at the center screen to see what speed you're doing. If you've went for the excellence model, you also actually get the added benefit of a heads up display. However, there's also plenty of physical shortcut buttons in here, which I'm a big fan of. You can change things like your volume, your parking sensors, your drive modes, all with the touch of a good old fashioned button. There's also plenty of storage up here. There's loads of room under this armrest. The door bins are an okay size, you can fit in a water bottle, no problem. A couple of drinks holders up here too. There's tons of space under here for your bits and bobs. And there's also a space for two phones to wirelessly charge. In the back, there is tons of space in here. You can also really enjoy the view out of the massive panel roof. This is completely unobstructed and the main support beam is actually moved further back behind your head. That isn't the case with some other panel roofs and competitors. The center seat also acts as an armrest with a couple of cup holes in here for your passengers. I mean, you can really sit back and relax. But the highlight in here has also got to be the fully flat floor meaning an adult can comfortably sit in the middle seat without having that awkward transmission panel in the middle. There's also a couple of USB ports down here and a bit of storage for your phone to keep everybody in the back happy. Welcome to the BYD Mythbusters. When preparing for this review, I've seen loads of things online that were just totally wrong. First one, you can't turn off the speed limit warning. Wrong. Literally, swipe down on the screen and there's a button there that says traffic sign recognition. You turn that off, it no longer beeps. Or if you want to keep your traffic sign recognition on, you can jump into the main menu, turn that back on, but turn the audio settings off. You can't access your heating controls without going into the screen. Wrong. You can come down here, there's a button there which does just your front window. You can also turn the fan speed on and off. And there's also an auto button here which will make the cabin set to whatever auto temperature you've got. For example, 23 degrees. However, there's also an option. If you hit the button here in the steering wheel, it brings up your temperature of the cabin, which you can then control up and down. Also, you can flick along to the right and you can control the fan speed. Because this car is Chinese, the indicators and wipers will be on the wrong side. Well, you're wrong again. You've probably watched reviews of the BYD seal on pre-production UK delivery cars. On all cars that will arrive in the UK, the indicators and wipers will be on the right side as expected for us Brits, exactly like this car that we're driving today. And lastly, probably my favorite one of them all is the battery will go on fire. Again, you are wrong. BYD literally at a live presentation took a nail and hammered it into a fully charged blade battery and guess what? Nothing happened, nothing exploded and nobody died. This car is actually incredibly safe and comes with a 5 star end cap rating. The 
design variant of the CEO, like we're driving today, is rear wheel driven and comes with an 82.5 kilowatt hour battery with a WLTP range of 354 miles. The Excellence comes with the same battery but is four wheel driven, has a little bit more power but has less range. The SEAL can accept a max charging rate of 150 kilowatts. So if you can find a fast enough charger, you'll be able to charge this car from 30 to 80% in just 26 minutes. An advanced energy saving heat pump comes on the SEAL as standard. We do see this offered by other manufacturers but sometimes at an additional cost. Reliably operating at a broad range of temperatures, the system is designed to take residual heat from the surroundings, the powertrain, the passenger compartment, and even the batteries. It enhances the thermal efficiency and reduces energy loss, whether heating or cooling. Therefore, the low temperature driving range in the SEAL is increased. The SEAL has 308 brake horsepower, which is pretty punchy. It'll also do not to 62 in only 5.9 seconds. So this is a fast car. The battery technology from BYD is market leading. The BYD Blade battery has enhanced safety, produces longer range, has a longer life cycle and uses LFP technology, which means there's no cobalt in these batteries, which is a win. The SEAL is also equipped with what is known as cell to body technology. And basically what this means is the batteries themselves form part of the chassis, unlike other manufacturers, which simply bolt the batteries to the bottom which is resulted in us having these overly tall electric cars. So my feet on the floor are almost literally touching that blade battery, which has resulted in that super low profile of this car that we all love. What that's also resulted in is a really low drag coefficient of just 0.219, meaning this car really cuts through the air as efficiently as possible. Paired with that double wishbone suspension, this car's handling is honestly incredible. It's planted, it's stiff, and you can really throw it into the bends with no worries at all. But with that being said, it still isn't too stiff to handle the battered British roads. So with good steering, decent ride, and incredible handling, this car is gonna be really enjoyable to do some miles in. So yeah, the BYD SEAL has a pretty wacky name, but there is no denying that this is a serious electric car. Packed with tech, with a really impressive driving range, a pretty competitive price tag, and with six years warranty or up to 96,000 miles, I can see why a lot of people would opt for this electric saloon. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe to our channel and we will see you in the next one.